Hey, Alex, um, I was looking at your change up grip and you said you're having trouble with what you wanted to do. So I feel like when you do this, when you, when you try to create a circle there, there's just nothing on this side of the ball. It's really hard to command. And when you try to command it, you end up cutting it and it doesn't really do anything that you want it to do. It doesn't, it doesn't roll you know, this way or anything. It just kind of does nothing, right? So here's an idea. Take your, take your thumb and put it on the bottom. I like that grip that you have. You can either do it across the seams here to make it a two seam or you can go this way to make it two seam. But I would put my thumb on the bottom of it like this instead of trying to do a circle and make it feel just like your fastball, right? Now what you want to do is you want to kill velo and spin by squeezing really hard with these two fingers, the, the pinky finger and, and the index finger. And that's going to create friction. Now this thing's going to become like a slip change. It's going to come out almost like a fork ball, but using these two as the fork. And then you can modulate the, the, um, the velocity by raising or compressing these two fingers, OK? I like to do it with my fingers on the seams because I like to feel seams. Some guys will do it like that to get a little, hopefully catch a little laminar flow and get it to run. Um, but the way I like it is just to have it go down and treat it like a split almost. But it's a split that comes out this way. So move your thumb under it and squeeze here. Use this, squeeze this pressure here to get the slip out and kill velocity and spin and you should get it to dive. So try that and let me know what you think.